everyone, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. We know you like comparisons, and so we have a new one for you today. We want to look at three new Dreadnought-style guitars that are kind of like deluxe models from the three major manufacturers, Taylor, Martin, and Gibson. So they are the big names when it comes to acoustic guitar, and each one of them has some great, crazy new models for 2019. Let's see how they compare. We're going to start with this one, which we've done several comparisons and individual reviews on. If you've been hiding under a rock, let me introduce you to Taylor's 717E. Now this is their new Grand Pacific body that features their new V-Class bracing, and it's called a builder's edition. It's not called a deluxe model, but for all intents and purposes, that's kind of what it is. Taylor also likes to say that a builder's edition is kind of like the director's cut. In this case, it's the luthier's cut, the master builder Andy Powers cut. And so what Andy has done is make a guitar that not only has a great sound to it, but he also wants to focus on improving the feel of the instrument. So it has a satin finish, specifically called silent satin, so it's quieter than a normal satin finish, and uh, allows the guitar to really resonate. It's got a rounded bridge, which is a nice feel for the hand. All the binding is chamfered off, so it's all rounded. It almost looks like it's been carved very well with a knife or something. It's awesome. The neck is unique on these Builders Edition models, so it has uh, more of a rounded profile where your thumb would kind of be more over the, the edge or the top of the fingerboard, and then it has a compound carve, so it flattens out as you move up. We're going to see that on another guitar here in a second. The heel on the back of it's rounded off, and the, the pin for the strap is not in this place so that it's comfortable for your hand. You're not hitting that pin so you can really feel the curve that's been, uh, or the carve that's been done here. Um, so the pin is on the back of the body. Um, other than that, it's, you know, quintessential Taylor. It's, it's torrified Sitka spruce with an East Indian rosewood back and sides, beautiful wood binding on it, and like I said, the V-Class bracing and the ES2 pickup system. So we've done lots of reviews. I'm not gonna go into a lot of depth about this, uh, but it's new for 2019, and it's a great guitar with a new sound that isn't typically the Taylor tone. So we've compared it to some other models, um, but I wanna compare it to some of these deluxe models and also compare them to one another. So let's take a look at the next one. Now this goes for about just over $3,000, right? $3,099 I think is the current uh, map price or street price you wanna go to our website, alamomusic.com and check it out for yourself. As well as this guy, now this is the 2019 Gibson J45 Deluxe. So it is deluxe in name and everything else. So this is your typical J45, uh, which you know, a lot of people call it a round shoulder dreadnought like the Grand Pacific we just saw. It's basically a jumbo uh, in Gibson talk. Um, and it features a beautiful spruce top with a rosewood burst, so not quite as dark as a typical J45. And rosewood back and sides instead of mahogany. Uh, we've got gold hardware, as you can see there, along with these Grover tuners up the top. Uh, while we're back here, let's look at this beautiful rope binding with some turquoise there. It's really nice. Um, some cream binding on there. Rope uh, purfling around the edge. Abalone rosette. We've got um, beautiful uh, split diamond inlays that are trimmed with like some gold around there and a bound headstock. So really a beautiful guitar. Um, striking appearance and some upgrades from what you would typically have on a J45. This also has a pickup in it. It's the LR Bags um, VTC pickup, I believe. So this one goes for about $3,600, $3,699, I think is the actual sell price of this instrument. So check our website, but really a nice J45 with some upgraded appointments. The nuts just a bit uh, narrower than what we saw on the 717, which is one and three quarters, typical for Taylor. This is 1.73 inches, so just a hair shy of that one and three quarter inch uh, nut width. And the neck is really kind of a rounded C shape. Um, it's, it's shallower and thinner, um, kind of across the whole range, but particularly up here at the top, than the Taylor and the next guitar we're going to see. Um, scalloped binding, or scalloped bracing, I should say, inside, um, and a wonderful, just kind of rich rosewood tone from a J45. Now, it will compare to that 717E Grand Pacific and this new guitar from Martin. We've done a full review of this guitar. This is the 2019 D28 Modern Deluxe. Now, it is a D28 Dreadnought from Martin with a beautiful premium Sitka Spruce top, 
East Indian rosewood back and sides. Uh, flamed maple binding, I love wood bindings, and it just really looks nice against that rosewood, doesn't it? Um, it's got the herringbone border, but it's not an HD28, okay? Just D28, but it does have the herringbone border. It has some beautiful uh, split diamond abalone inlays on there. An abalone script logo up on the headstock. Open back uh, gold Waverly tuners. Um, and then a lot of other modern features, which is why it's called the Modern Deluxe. So uh, those are gold frets, um, a compound carve, like we saw on the Grand Pacific on the back of this. So it's rounder here and it flattens out. It's got a titanium truss rod. It has a carbon fiber bridge plate and the top and the bracing is all VTS treated. So it's also torfied like on the Taylor. So really just a striking guitar. This one is at the top uh, of the three of these. This one goes right for $39.99. So, the big three making some really kind of deluxe uh, step-up model, all solid wood dreadnoughts, in this case, all rosewood that we're comparing. So take a listen and see which one your ears like.
So there you have it. Which one did your ears like? Which one do your eyes like? Which one is the more fetching? You know, when we talk about deluxe models, a lot of times there's an emphasis on the appearance that's taking place, fancier inlays, abalone trim, stuff like that. But there's some other things really going on at place here, particularly in the Martin and in the Taylor, with differences with like the torfication uh, or torfaction, the, um, the neck carve, the things like the gold tuners, the liquid metal bridge pins that I forgot to mention, carbon fiber bridge plates, satin finishes, all sorts of crazy cool stuff where manufacturers are really starting to push the envelope um, of what it means to be able to manufacture a guitar in 2019. And, but then you also have the Gibson, which is very traditionally built with a pickup, beautiful uh, appointments, and a very comfortable, more modern neck carved to it. So let us know below what you think, what you heard, which one uh, would be worth your money and time to play. Um, I like all three. It'd be a tough choice. They're all great, and they all have their own voice. So hopefully you could pick that up. I want to tell you to subscribe. Turn on those notifications so that you know when we put out another one of these comparisons of Battle Royale, as it were. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you enjoy what we're putting out, help support this channel uh, by going uh, down below and purchasing one of the t-shirts we've made for you. Uh, rock your support for one of the oldest music stores in Texas and the country and your love of guitar. Just purchase below, help support our videos, and go to our website, alamomusic.com, for more goodies that you can get. Thanks. Mm -hmm.